fuss about climate change and uh, one of the main reasons why this climate is changing, one of the main factors uh, of uh, CO2 um, yeah, extraction into the air is uh, mainly the fact of meat production and the meat industry and meat transport. Because uh, just to feed a bunch of cows or a bunch of pigs, you need a whole lot of more space just to grow uh, the food they will eat. And to grow this food, mostly it is grown in, uh, in countries where the cost is very low, like in Brazil or in some places where they cut the rainforest, which uh, would absorb a lot of CO2. And as doing so, um, yeah, that's actually uh, twice uh, twice uh, loss for the climate. First time. They, uh, they get a lot of carbon into the air by uh, cutting the forest. And secondly, they're just growing stuff there. That's only, uh, the, the soil is not very uh, fertile. So only for a few years it will grow soy. Then they have to move to another piece. And still the soil is then shipped or uh, exported back to the, the Western countries where it is uh, yeah, mixed and uh, given to the animals for feed. So, uh, yeah, it really enlarges uh, our impact on climate. When uh, many experts have already shown that uh, we really need to do something, it's really important that we, we start changing our, the way we, uh, we, we act on our environment. And eating less meat, or if only better, eating no meat is a really effective measure in this. Vegetarianis will climate change for better. Vegetarianis will feed dead for countries. Vegetarianis will save animals. Vegetarianis will get your body healthy. Will give you energy. Will get your spirit healthy. Will get your body healthy. It's an action at the Delhaize supermarket in the center of Antwerp. Uh, in a very posh neighborhood, uh, a lot of shops and shopping mall. Uh, it's Antwerp because we have the climate uh, camp, climate action camp at the moment in Antwerp. Uh, it's about all kind of actions against climate change. Um, there will be a coal action, it's about uh, nuclear. Uh, but agriculture is also one of the main causes of climate change, and agriculture is often forgotten. It's more important altogether than uh, all the, the traffic and transport together. Um, and from this agriculture is actually mainly the production of meat and, and dairy products that, that um, are contributing to climate change. And for this reason we closed the meat department of the supermarket. Um, we put some lines in front of it, some signs, we had a big banner uh, just to tell people uh, not to uh, take the meat this time. We are actually not physically um, stopping them to do it because we want to have communication with them, we want to try to convince them, to give them information, discussion, so uh, that works better if we just don't push them or piss them off. But uh, yeah, towards supermarkets we had the message like you, it's not, it's not good, it's not fair, it's not uh, ethical to um, promote and sell all those, those meat products if you know uh, that it's, this is causing so much climate change. Uh, the action went quite well, um, one of the, half of the group went inside, uh, to close this, close off this department. The other half stayed outside to inform more public in the streets and the shopping mall. Um, and the supermarket was actually quite relaxed. Uh, they had this calculation like, oh, we prefer you to stay there for half an hour to with your leaflets and your uh, your lines to to close the the meat parts. Um, we have rather this than that we have police and troubles and more activists and fights inside. Um, but then the police came and the police was not so relaxed, they were really strict, they had the duty to do, they had the job and they wanted to get rid of all the activists. Um, first they moved people outside to the street, not in the shopping mall, and afterwards they went inside to tell us that we really had to leave. But the funny thing was that we had, um, uh, actually we told them, no, no, we had to deal with the manager, and the manager said we were going to stay here for half an hour, and no, you have to go. Uh, we have here the manager and the manager tells us that you have to go. And then the manager said, no, 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 actually they're right, I, I, you can stay for 15 more minutes. And then the police was like, oh, okay, shit, we, <laughs> we will go, we will, uh, we have nothing more to say here. So it went quite qu quietly, we spread all the leaflets, we have handed out uh, vegan food to tell people, to show people that it's actually, you can have nice food without having meat uh, in it. And now, um, one moment we just decided to go because uh, yeah, we made our points, we have more access to prepare. And, uh, we don't have leaflets anymore, so it uh, was a good action. <laughs>